Hi there. I just wanted to show my um, example of a C sharp application that accesses the gestures and flicks and um, actually uses it to control a game. So if we go ahead and start the game here, um, the game I call uh, Gesture Box. And so if we go ahead and start it, um, you'll see the pieces start coming down. And what you can do is with flicks, you can actually uh, make them go back and forth and you can actually make them go faster if you want them to go down. So if we'll move that one over all the way over here and just make it drop down. And then you have the ability to, um, as pieces come down, you can also use gestures to rotate the pieces. So you'll notice here that I've got the rotation going. Um, so if we want to go ahead, how about we do this? We'll move that one over there. Everybody has their strategy that they use. Um, so in this case we want to rotate that one this direction and we'll go ahead and move that over there. So all the source code is available um, on my sub on my website. Uh, go ahead and pull it down and play around with it. Uh, this is running on an HP TouchSmart TX2. Uh, so by all means uh, take a look. I th think it's got uh, you know it's a good example. It's a simple example of how um, you can use gestures uh, to control your game. And I think that it's got a lot of possibilities. I think that in the future we're going to start seeing more and more games. We're going to see more hardware that's going to come uh, standard with multi-touch capabilities. Um, so I'm looking forward to uh, the future and what kind of uh, new games are going to be coming out there. Thanks for watching. Bye.